What's up guys? It's Eddie from Harlem Bling. It's still me. I might look a little different. I got a haircut. I got a little sunburn. I was at the beach all day on the boat yesterday, so I'm a little red. Guys, today we're going to talk about rose gold and why you should own it or why it's not for you. But first, I want all of you guys that are new to this channel or if you're lazy and just keep forgetting, whatever it is, Subscribe down below, hit the like button, turn on the notifications. It really helps my channel grow. So at Harlem Bling, most of our jewelry, probably 95% is solid 9 to 5 sterling silver. This is solid 9 to 5 silver. This is how it looks. This particularly is a box clasp 10 millimeter chain or 10.5 millimeter chain. We also sell a little bit of gold, solid gold, 10 karat 14, and some stainless steel. But today, I'm mostly talking about silver. You could apply the same principle to all of the other metals. So this is natural silver. This is our Cuban chain. Very nice, high-quality chain. So we have it in gold vermeil. And I'm not going to use the word plating, and I'll explain to you why we do not use plating. Plating, gold plating is simply when you take one of these chains and you drop it into a liquid. And there's uh, electrons of gold and they're in a solution and the gold attaches to this. It rubs off really easily. And then there's some companies that will advertise that they do 3x, 5x, 20x. There's no way you can check it as a consumer. It's still simply spray paint. We at Harlem Bling, we use Vermeil. And in some of the listings, some of the items, it will still say gold plated. We use it interchangeably, but our plating is all Vermeil. The reason why we didn't update some of the titles is because we're not out there. We, we don't need to rub it in. Our quality speaks for itself. So we, by default, we put a thin coating of real gold over the silver. But the purpose of this video is rose gold. This is rose gold. And how is this different from this yellow gold? Rose gold contains about 20 to 22% copper. Yellow gold contains very little copper. Now, a lot of you guys will start saying that copper will turn your neck green. I challenge you, you can buy this chain. We have a very good return period. These chains will not turn your neck green. Copper is hypoallergenic. It is used in medicine. When it's mixed with nickel, it will turn your neck green. When it's in high percentages, like in brass, where it's 60, 70% copper, it will turn your neck green. This is about 25% copper in the Vermeil level. Inside, this is still solid 9 to 5 silver. You won't see the stamp, but it's stamped Italy 925, meaning the whole chain is 925 silver. And the reason it's twisting, guys, by the way, it's because I didn't lock it properly. These chains do not twist. They hang perfectly straight. As you can see, these do not twist. So again, guys, it's a mixture of copper and silver and gold on the top level. That's why it gives that rose color. We also have rose gold Jesuses. We have earrings, we have watches. I'm actually wearing a rose gold watch. Now, the question is, for the girls, it's very in fashion right now. Now for the men, should you guys wear rose gold? Right now, it's a really strong trend. And I will say more, in my opinion, it's not even a trend. Rose gold is there to stay. It's not pink gold. It's rose gold. So it has a more orangey, more natural patina to it. It's very fashionable. It stands out more. Everybody has a yellow gold chain. Not a lot of people have a rose gold chain. Now, if you... I'm going to teach you a little trick. If you want to own rose gold, but don't really want it to stand out as much, you get items with stones. When the item has stones, like this is a rose gold Miami Cuban. 
This is a moissanite 15 millimeter on my chest. It smells gold. It's not yellow. This is yellow. When it has a lot of stones, <clears throat> you can't really tell the difference. On such an item as a tennis chain, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between a rose gold link and a yellow gold link. However, it gives a subtle look and then you can match it with more rose items. You could also match rose gold with thinner chains that are white. In my opinion, you shouldn't mix rose and yellow. <sighs> Mixing a rose gold chain with a yellow chain might look funny. It's for some people, they'll have a tri-colored look. I personally can't pull it off. Now, even more popular in rose gold is watches. They give a very subtle look. It's very classy. Yellow on your hand might be a little outdated by now. When I think of a lot of yellow gold, I think of, I don't know, gangsters from the 80s movies, from Scarface. Rose gold is the new generation. If you look on social media, all of the celebrities, all of the rappers, everybody is rocking a rose gold chain. So again, if you want rose gold, the male, check out Harlem Bling best quality if it's right for you check it out remember code youtube 20 saves 20 percent off our entire store so if you haven't been a subscriber this is news for you this is only a code i'm giving out to my youtube fans so definitely check us out harlembling.com until next time thank you